हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आवर ग्रुप आई डी इज थ्री एंड वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग डी एम डब्ल्यू मिनी प्रोजेक्ट सो आवर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फॉर डी एम डब्ल्यू मिनी प्रोजेक्ट इज इनकम क्लास प्रेडिक्शन यूजिंग क्लासिफिकेशन टेक्निक्स सच एज रैंडम फॉरेस्ट ग्रेड एंड बुस्टर ट्री एंड लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन यूजिंग द रैपिड मैनर फर्स्ट वी हैव रिट्राइव द इनकम डाटा सेट uh from the uh, uh using the retrieve operator uh in the result section uh you can see the data set that has been loaded so this uh, data set uh, contains around uh, for 49000 uh, instances and there are around uh, 15 attributes uh, among which uh, the last attribute income uh, is a binary classifier so this data set contains around 49000 instances of uh, data and there are around uh, uh, 15 attributes among which the income is the uh, binary uh, attribute uh, which has uh, income either less than or equals to 50000 or greater than uh, 50000 so our task is to predict that uh, whether the uh, given uh, record or user uh, has Uh, income greater than fifty uh, thousand or less than fifty thousand. So in the design of uh, we, so in the uh, design first we have filtered the examples uh, so that uh, we have actually removed our um, uh, attributes that are uh, records that are have missing values. There are around two uh, thousand uh, missing values that we have removed. afterwards we have uh, selected some attribute nominal attributes and then we have perform nominal to binomial operation on that uh, uh, attributes afterwards uh, some uh, uh, some we have performed the nor z score normalization on data and afterwards uh, we have performed the one out encoding uh, on the uh, uh, as some attributes like uh, which are the uh, nominal attributes like uh, uh, profession uh, etc then afterwards we have uh, set the role for our uh, income uh, label and afterwards uh, we have uh, passed our uh, op, uh, our da whole data set to the uh, training part so we have used here uh, cross validation operator to perform the uh, uh, training and testing at the same time so first uh, operator we have used is the logistic regression logistic regression uh, uses the sigmoid function to uh, 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 classify the uh, uh, whether the mod uh, classify uh, whether the uh, income is greater than 50000 or less than 50000 so the accuracy that we actually get using the logistic regression is the 81.76 now random forest classify random forest like its name consist of large that number of individual decision trees that operates as an ensemble Each individual tree is a rand in the random forest splits out the uh, data prediction and the class with the most to vote becomes our model prediction. Standard uh, decision tree classifier have the disadvantage that they are prone to outfitting to the uh, training set. The random forest ensembles uh, design allows the random forest to compensate for this and uh, generalize well to unseen data. Uh, according to the results. Random forest use eighty two point four eight accuracy. Uh, now gradient boosted tree. So the gradient boosted tree uses the gradient boosting algorithm, which is the machine learning technique used in classification tasks. So it enhances the performance of the weak learning algorithm, like uh, the that like the random forest. So this algorithm is built iteratively by combining prediction from several weak learners. so the gradient boosted tree combines the decision tree sequentially so that each new tree corrects the mistake of the previous tree so here we can see it gives the accuracy of 79.95% so at the end after performing a training on the three uh, uh, classifiers uh, that is logistic regression random forest uh, classifier and gradient boosted tree uh, we uh, actually came to a conclusion that random forest uh, actually gives the uh, higher accuracy which is 82.46 uh, that is this is uh, our uh, dmw project 
एंड थैंक यू थैंक यू